The CSIS Technology and Public Policy Program just wrapped up a discussion with Michael Dell and Samuel Palmisano, the CEOs of Dell and IBM, respectively. Dr. John Hamry moderated a discussion about how innovative practices from the IT sector can help the United States become more competitive. People can go anywhere in the world. They can. People can go to any city in the world. People, businesses can go anywhere in the world. Work flows anywhere in the world, and so does capital. So the question is, why would they come here? That's the question. Not, you're not spending enough. Why would they come here? Why would you come and invest in the United States of America when I, you can invest elsewhere instead of giving 30% to the government, 10? Why would you invest here when you can, instead of competing for 100,000 graduates in math and science, you can compete for 600,000 in that same equivalent country? Collective experience right. in our industry is that if you, you know, stand in the way of the enormous improvements in, in technology that continue to come, you do it at your own peril. And, you know, you just lose relevance and you fall behind. And so, you know, there have been enormous advances in, in, in our industry. And this is where, you know, if you sort of add up what are the, the basic opportunities that are kind of pretty easily accessible, that's your trillion dollars. You know, what, John, what I would say is that, you know, I just think, you know, things can't go unchallenged. And the reason I say they can't go unchallenged is we are in a very difficult situation. If it was normal times and life was moving on and things were great, you'd say, fine, it's been, like, but states, right, Michael? Business as usual. But we're not in that kind of a set of circumstances. We are great risk on productivity. We have a financial debt structure that if it wasn't the government, it was non-sustainable. None of us could run those levels of debts and keep our jobs. You know, only in a political environment can that be the case. So to sit there and not ask ourselves honest, detailed, factual questions about solving the problem, I think is not appropriate for any organization. 